What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Disla, and today we're going to be going over somewhat of a beginner's guide, we're going to be talking about whether you should re-roll or not, quick answer, probably not, it's a 4-5 to five hour ordeal, it's not really worth it, we're going to show you the awesome in-game animations, now sadly we cannot have you guys listen to music because I'm pretty sure the music is going to be copywritten. So all of our YouTube videos, Twitch streams, all that stuff are going to be muted with in-game sound. Sadly, I really wish it wasn't because the in-game sound and music is so good, but it doesn't look like there's any way around it. We're going to go over all the different game modes that they have currently. And the biggest thing to talk about here before we even jump into it, this is an open beta. Anybody can do it. If you need to know how to install it, Go to the link. I'm going to put a link right up the top there. I have a whole video how to install it with Knox Player, the APK, down, APK downloader, all that stuff. So definitely go check that out. And yes, this is an open beta. No, your progress will not be wiped. So the sooner you jump into it, the better because you can start grinding up. And yes, it has a stamina system, which means you really need to start grinding right away. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Make sure you take one second. Hit that subscribe button and let's jump right into it. Okay, so once we jump in game, the first thing you'll notice is you are in this location right here. Most of these game modes are going to be locked. There's only going to be a few things on the second screen here that you're going to be able to do at the beginning, but we're going to go over everything. And then, of course, there is a last screen over here on the right, Point War. That is essentially PvP. We'll talk about it briefly, but it's not really anything you should worry about immediately. It'll randomly match you against five different people. You can challenge them or you can refresh Try to find somebody different. There are some bonuses for getting the first win of the day. You can set up your defensive squad right here. And of course, there is a special shop for the currency as well, including gold records, which are the premium summons in this game. But probably not something to really go over too much. Point war, that's what PvP is. Pretty simple. Uh, so let's start off with the first thing. Story is where you're going to want to live right now because you need to grind as far as possible. There are some bonus battles that pop up. There are story modes, chapters that you can go through. Um, you got chapter one, two, three. I mean, you can look at the whole map if you really want to. We're on three right now. We'll, uh, we'll jump into this. Essentially, you go through all these levels. You get certain rewards for completing the entire chapters. Uh, star rating <laughs> razors these guys right here are like puppets where you can kind of feed into your heroes make them stronger but yeah there's some bonus formations xp trials that come up gives you a bunch of xp now this does cost resources here uh, we'll jump into the combat since we are in story mode right now essentially this is a traditional rpg it is turn-based you can see down the bar when your heroes are going to attack um Essentially, you can have the auto function up here. We're not going to click it right now. And you have a two times speed. Both of these unlock after a certain chapter that you progress past. But this is what it looks like. You can click and hold if you are on an emulator to see what the skills actually do. Uh, that is perfect. Essentially, your right icon, the furthest one on the right, is like an ultimate ability, so to speak. It is usually one of the most useful here and is pretty nice to use. Now, You'll notice above the enemy's head, there's yellow, there's red, there's also green arrows that can pop up. Essentially, there is a, a triangle method of damage. So you do more damage to one type, less damage to another. You'll notice we have all three types in our team right here. Actually, we have more than that. They're a little bit different to go into. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But essentially, you want to make sure you are targeting the ones that you're going to do the most damage to with the heroes. Now, one thing with Helena... Her abilities are pretty amazing. She has a huge heal right here, and she does have some damage dealing abilities. If you click and hold on anything on the battlefield, it will ping where they are in the combat, and you can show exactly what they can do. Uh, but normally, you're just going to click their attack if there's nothing to heal. You have heroes like Anubis. You'll notice here we finally have the green icon. His ultimate ability, Death Judgment, is cool because if he kills a target, he continues attacking others. You want to try to attack low targets with him so that he'll bounce around. Sometimes you get these epic animations here, and sometimes you don't. It's very random here because I'll probably click. Oh, no, you can see the cool animations here as well. It doesn't play every single time, and I have not realized what the common denominator is. Uh, so I do not know. Of course, you'll see at the top, we have enemies one of three, two of three, three of three. So there's multiple waves 
for this combat again you really want to try to focus on the targets that you're going to do the most damage to some people like this you're just going to have a yellow which means they're the same type as you which you're not going to do much more or less um and here we're going to try to target the ones again that we can do the most damage with so combat is very very handy i like it of course, if you're the type that really doesn't want to get into it and you just want the computer to take over for you, if you're a traditional fan of like an AFK arena or idle heroes where you just love the auto battler to take care of things, uh, you can do it. It's decent. It's not necessarily the best auto battler I've seen, but for easier content, content you know you can grind through, it's kind of helpful. It's nice and useful. Unless you want to practice your combos, your setup, stuff like that, then I recommend doing it manually. I do highly recommend that you do not use this auto mode when you're pushing content that is very difficult. Like I said, the, sometimes they use abilities like before they should, like I wouldn't have used her heal there. I would have saved it because a lot of these ultimate abilities take one, two or three rounds to come off cooldown. They're very, this game is very much cooldown based abilities. You can't just spam the ultimate ability, things like that. The basic ability you can spam, but I uh, usually don't want to use a basic unless you're absolutely forced to or you're trying to conserve it. Uh, yeah, you'll see here is it's it's a decent auto battler. I enjoy it. I love the art style here. I love everything about it so far. But like you'll notice here, sometimes it doesn't show the ultimate animation. Sometimes it does. Again, haven't figured out what's going on. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it is what it is. It's a fun game. You'll get some rewards. These here are runes. They're essentially going to have bonuses for your hero, so you want to use them to equip. And then this is E-Cash. It's basically the gold in the game that you're going to use to level up everything. One thing I want to talk about here. You'll notice our heroes are at different levels. There's multiple ways to level up your heroes. One of the main ones is using them in combat. So very much like a traditional RPG, if they are in combat, they will get experience and level up individually. Uh, you do have energy that you're going to have to use here, which eh, eh. not a fan of the energy system. You can only get so much a day. You can buy extras. Uh, yeah, it's, it, it, I probably, it, I hope they come up with more ways to use stamina in this game or acquire stamina. Because I always hate that method of being held back from grinding, especially in like a chapter system, by stamina daily. Does seem like that's the way, so we will leave it at that for the story mode. Let's next jump over to the gacha. The gacha is literally the gacha of the game, the summoning of heroes. So there's two different types, the gold records and the silver records. Silver records come from your uh, friendship your, your daily friendship giving gifts back and forth so you got this animation here it looks pretty cool i like it uh he's only a two star yeah not going to be anything useful but essentially those are going to be able to give you both rare and uncommon espers if you want the really good ones you're going to want the gold records these are the premium summons and these here have the chance one percent chance to get legendary espers so uh, there are some guaranteed rewards we're going to go over here if you record playing or if your record playing has not yielded a legendary esper after 100 attempts then each subsequent attempt increases the chance of receiving by one percent eventually receiving so i don't like it it starts after 100 that feels a little bad i wish it just started immediately We'll have to see. If you receive a legendary esper from the record player, then it will reset any applicable bonus probabilities when seeking your next legendary esper. That makes sense because the pity kind of went away. And then accumulated summoning attempts are a combination of normal summonings and new esper summoning events. So there's probably going to be a third button here eventually when there's a new hero that comes out that you're going to summon for them. So yeah, not too bad. You can directly buy these gold records with your gems. This is what I was talking about for re-rolling. Technically, you can farm up about a thousand gems, which is about five, four or five summons. You can get one for free. So if you really want to re-roll, you can do that, but be prepared to play for about four to five hours to get that many gems. If you're really into re-rolling, then it might be something you want to do. Uh, like I said, getting those legendary espers are 1%. But talking about the espers, let's jump into it. There's a bunch of things to go over here. One really cool thing is every esper can be leveled up pretty much infinitely. So you'll notice here we have a four star uh, Mona here. Very good. You'll notice we have some three stars, but there is a little purple pip on one of them. Once you get all three of them leveled up, you will go up to a four star. So you can pretty much continue leveling 
any hero you want you'll notice the little growth button is kind of popped up here that is because we have multiple ways to level up a hero you have advancement which essentially you can feed copies of the hero or these are the little puppets in the game by feeding these puppets you can help upgrade your hero faster get their levels going up you'll notice here it kind of shows you all the stat upgrades which is really really cool and you'll notice she can go all the way up to the six star which is awesome that is pretty pretty cool i'll even show you here in advancement everybody can i just want to make sure you know every hero can do it which is really really cool there's also resonance so as you go up in resonance you'll get points to increase either hp attack or defense you can 100 percent do this yourself and you can see how many points of resonance will gain you'll get four energy for it if you ever want to reset it is going to cost gems so be prepared you don't make many mistakes and it does look like uh it shows what most people have used so if you want to hit the popularity button that's kind of cool you can see what all the other players are doing and then lastly there is ascension ascension is requiring these basic cards these are gotten from another game mode that we'll talk about a little bit later but there are ways to increase attack hp and eventually it upgrades the abilities as well which is kind of cool but again you're gonna have to grind up resources to do that as far as relics goes these are essentially the gear in this game is relics by getting certain combos of them you'll get bonuses so i have all of the attack ones the wrath of jupiter set we have all four of those so that's going to give that and then you have other ones to give hp defense defense bonuses there's two sets here as well so yeah these are your gear here and of course in here you can enhance them and Pretty much do whatever you want well i'll show you exactly what it looks like because i'm i'm definitely gonna be using mona a lot artemis i don't know which name to use really but you'll notice you can enhance them and increase the stats it's pretty cool because everybody has the god name artemis is the one that is giving her power but her name is mona again i don't really know which way to go uh you have these little things here in careers that it looks like you have a little bit of bonus lore behind them as well which is pretty cool uh, ooh, there's a little reward down there. I didn't know that was a thing. Cool. I guess I'm still learning everything all day. So you can click around, see what you want to see here. Um, you can <laughs> you can harder to put her to the front of the list as well. And then if you really just want to see all of her abilities, composition preferences, performance, reviews of the heroes, latest, popular, all that fun stuff. There's tons of stuff. You can leave comments on a hero. It is really, really cool. Next up, I should talk about friends since we just talked about gotcha. How do you get those? Well, in your friends down here, you're going to want to go to this little pip up here. This is where you're going to accept friends, add friends. You want to just start applying, refresh, apply, especially if you're re-rolling because you want to try to get as many things as possible here. Just literally spam it away. You have a blacklist if you ever block anybody incoming friend requests, adding friends. So yeah, this is literally what I kept doing. It does limit you how many you can do every little while eventually it'll kind of time out and you'll run out of time but this is where you're going to get those summons and then of course there's also a shop where you can use these hearts right here to buy things like the silver records for those summons or stamina i kind of recommend the stamina that might be one of the best things for you and this store does refresh it looks like in six days so the three star div divina D D divina divina i don't know uh this is what's going to be able to tr fast track esper's progress especially their star rating so these might be worthwhile to do but you can only buy one a week it looks like so plan accordingly uh there's also friend assist on the leaderboards there's things you can do you can claim hearts right here as well so check that out we next are going to jump into missions so missions this is where you're going to go for your daily quest and courses so quest right here the typical gotcha idol game where you get multiple resources for doing your daily things and then there's also weekly so yeah grab them you'll get some summons out of them you'll get some gems really good stuff and then courses is kind of like an achievement list and as you go through the cores they're going to give you those gems they are going to give you the e-cash they're going to give you some of the other resources basically there's just certain goals that you have to complete in order to progress in order to come down to this one here you need to complete both of these so you're going to have to do rune enhancement but there's a lot of good stuff here when you finish an entire tree out you can get the reward over here there's advanced and then there's also master so those are really really cool but make sure quests are kind of hidden here make sure you know that the quests are down in this corner 
Next up, we have the plaza. The plaza is the store. This is where you're going to be buying everything. You get the free daily click right here. Uh, you can recharge your gems up here. You can get resources for gems. So this is where you can buy gold records directly from here or if you need cash or any of these other things. There are limits on certain things. There's limits on the gift packs. You can only buy each one of these one time and then recharge is pretty much, I think you only get the double the first time you purchase it like most games so just be aware if you are going to do summons that way next up we have trials so trials are pretty cool we have the sonic miracle here uh you have multiple different enemies that you can fight these are boss battles and they are going to go up in difficulty as you beat them you can go all the way up to difficulty eight they'll give you better and better rewards it does still cost the stamina though so be warned but these right here are going to be used to upgrade and tune your espers your heroes so this is something you want to do it's pretty fun the battles are really cool looking check them out uh, we did get the ritual miracle, which is essentially the same thing, but you get different types of rewards. This one is going to give relics to your team, whereas this one gives the upgrades. And then there's even more further on that I have not unlocked just yet. So we've gone over everything here. We gone over the PVP in the front war. Now there's two more things. Bounties. These are like your daily tavern quests in a lot of games. You gotta click on the word berry come on so these are pretty cool ones here you have three of six you have three of these you can do i highly recommend accepting these quests and trying to complete them to get the really good rewards i mean this is going to give us a free summon there get you know extension boosters from sonic miracle that's the thing we just talked about in the trials there uh there's other ones where you have to defeat certain types of enemies in the story stages and then ooh, we can get gems here view a section of drew's story sure why not that one seems very very simple looks like we just might have to click our way through i haven't done any of these so doesn't look like there's a skip button here but if you want to know more about the lore, this is a good way to follow up on it. We're just going to spam our way through this. <laughs> Come on, Drew. Oh, my goodness. Who's Ollie? Who are we even talking to? Who's Ollie? My goodness. There oh, there's a bot. Wait. Oh, my God. There's a four times speed. All right. And you can still click. All right. We're blasting through this. <laughs> oh, man. This is kind of painful. Wow. These stories are in depth if you really, really want to get to know what's going on here. Oh my god, you can see the chat log too. Alright, I'm not going to put you guys through this. I'll be right back. No joke, that was literally like two minutes of spam clicking to get the story done. But once you're completed, you claim it out, you get your uh, Organa. We're just going to call them gems or diamonds. I mean, I'm not calling them Organa, sorry. That's not going to happen. Um, You do get a free refresh, uh, but I do want to make sure we get these two done. Because those, the legendary ones are definitely the good ones. These are the lowest tier, purple, the next best. So... Pretty good, and then of course, actually, wait, what was this right here? I'm I'm scared to click this. I don't want to click it right now. I'm not sure what random does. Be warned. Um, Atlas is the last thing for us to talk about right here. So this is essentially just uh, abilities. You can see some heroes have captain abilities. There's a special slot you can put on your team. They give bonuses by being in the captain slot and there's only one of them possible. But this is pretty much where you can see everything out there. You can see all the natural five stars up here. You can see all the four stars down here, three stars, I guess it doesn't show two and one stars. Maybe they're just pure food. I'm not really sure about those, but really any three stars can be leveled up all the way up to six stars. So it's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, it looks like we finished the quest today by doing a bounty mission. We get another one of these suitcases, more resources. So uh, not too bad. What do you guys think about the game? I'm enjoying it. There is currently not many social features or guilds or anything like that, but there is talks that that will be coming. Again, this is an open beta, so things will be changing. But again, there will not be a wipe. So if you jump in early, you're going to get a good, nice head start. As far as I know, it doesn't look like there's servers or anything like that. So that's pretty nice here. There's a seven day login reward. So make sure you're claiming that out. There is a mail system. There is a survey you can take on the game that'll give you 100 free of those gems. And then lastly, if you come up to the top left after you get past a specific game uh, story mode, you can do a different name up here. You can link your account. Make sure you do that if you don't want to lose your data. Link it to either Facebook or your Google Play accounts. And yeah, everything looks good for me. I need to, I guess I could put sound effects on, but just turn music off. That could be good. And then there's nothing for graphics just yet. So 
Let me know what you guys think. Hopefully this helped you guys out. Let me know if you're enjoying the game. Again, if you need help installing and getting this set up, I'll put a link up in the top corner there again, just to make sure you know how to do it because a specific emulator required, especially if you're not in the countries that are currently available in just the regular open beta, you can still get in. Don't worry. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Hit that subscribe button. Let's hit 10,000 subs right away. See you guys next time.